a Turtle Club. Good morning. It is a little bit after 8 a.m. because the Elgato decided to be El Nato today. And we are got the Elgato back up and going. So we're going to be doing some, uh, some first look impressions here. We had a Nintendo Direct come out. And I've been talking about a game called Portal Knights. One that my nephew's been playing. They've had a good blast. I've watched them play it. Looks like a whole mess of fun. So uh, when Dragon Quest Builders was released as far as a new demo and announced on the actual Nintendo Direct, I figured we'd give this a, a whirl, fire this bad boy up and take a look at what we got. So this is going to be our first look impressions on this. We're going to play this for about an hour. Hey, Lucario Hunter, how's it going? And after we play this, we are going to stop stream due to copyright restrictions because this is, as you'll notice in just a second, uh, it is actually a should be a whole whole lot better we had to reinstall the elgato and all of its default settings basically decide that it wants to be loud as a lot of their thing um okay so we can redesign the character so if we made a mistake on our what four options we can change them hey Kristen, how's it going and now it's going to build our world and so if you're not familiar with the way that dragon quest builders looks like it looks like it's basically minecraft plus um cool stuff so it's kind of what we're thinking here Lacking the intro so far. It's very Dragon Quest esque. Huh. Half the world. You know, I, I think I'd go for the full world. Oh, thank you, Sally. Yeah, I'm feeling much, much better. And guys, that I've if you don't want to know. Where Max Inker has been, uh, if you all want to know, I, I've been I've been uh, on Death's Door. I wouldn't quite be that dramatic about it, actually. But, uh, so we refuse, and the whole world goes evil. I thought that was an evil overlord anyways. Okay. So that's kind of a hokey storyline, but we kind of expect that. I do like the kind of the intro though. The intro on this is, from what I've seen of Portal Knights. Remember, my 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 nephews Loki and and Thor. They've played Portal Knights and they looked like they had a blast at it. So long a slumber. Hey, Kevin. How's it going, man? And Posh, good morning to you. All right. So push the B to jump. So run around and stretch your legs. Okay, the music throwback is really awesome. Oh, thanks, Christian. Uh, we, we were under the weather. It's been, it's been a... Uh, we're still not 100%, but we're getting there. Doing good, Kevin. Thanks for asking. Okay, so the music is just way um, 
I can't explain it, guys. I've played enough Dragon Quest series that this is just like harkening back to everything. Um, it's pretty awesome. Well, that's kind of made it, guys. Um, wow. <laughs> White petals. You can use them. Yep, you sure can. All right, so. Work at a tree stump, okay. A to build, healing cream, build. All right, so we got that. So X is, all right, but it says, ah, so we can just use that, all right. Oh, switch, not, yeah. Sweet, I do feel better, yeah. Funny, a broken branch, okay. Cypress stick, oh my god. Hey Chatley, how's it going? So yeah, I'm I'm uh, definitely digging the the world lore. I mean, because I've played so much Dragon Warrior and Dragon Quest. I love how the main character keeps interrupting it. Oh, this is this is this is pretty uh this is pretty awesome guys. Yo, Tiger, how's it going? Uh, this game comes out February the 9th. Now I'm interrupting him again. Uh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, guys, look. The narrator with the story has bored my character to sleep. That's, that's, oh, that, that's pretty apropos about the world in general. All right, yeah, okay. Press Y to break things apart, okay. Okay, so that's... Okay, interesting. Yep, that's going to take some getting used to a little bit. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we, we built our staircase. Let's just grab that block back. Anything else here while we're like, you know... Because, I mean... My character's been written to, like, not care, but I kind of care. I mean... You know, healing cream, white petals, you know, that kind of stuff. 
Seems kind of important maybe later on. Just to get a little bit of a smidge. Yeah, it does look really cool. Um, and it's on Switch, which means it's a grab, go, and play kind of title. Um, examine. Well, that's never good. Well, I was hoping to get some kind of like. I don't know. I was, you know, thinking maybe bone or something, but I guess not. But yeah, uh, being a a Dragon Quest player, um, this whole entire process here so far is is pretty stellar. Um, I gotta admit, I'm I'm really. Oh, and that's how you go up and down a level. Okay, it's so for the right bumper buttons. All right, so. That looked like it was cracked, but it wasn't doing us any good. It's out of guard! Yeah! Huh. Huh. I would Lucario, it's it's so far it's cool. It's pretty cool, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Guys, mind blown right there. Right there. Okay, that, that's that's the... Oh, and the Dragon Quest music just being mixed into it all, guys. This is... Uh... This is pretty epic. I, uh... Wow. Wow. That's, that's some pretty heavy stuff, guys. A banner and a place to put the banner. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So Well, thanks for telling me that now, game. Okay. I know, Jordan. Hey, how's it going? It's Sally. Yeah, the, the music is if you've played any, any Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest games, this music should basically just make you go, oh yeah, this is, this is, this is it. So that's the way you do a land claim. So that's kind of cool. Oh, man, here's a save. So we'll save. Save slots. Uh, love save slots. Talk. There's Pippa. Okay. So quests. Uh, 
<laughs> is $81 considered as ending in a 1 or a 0? That's a 0. A 0 has the lightest digit, and that's the 10 is the pennies digit, man. So it's... it's that is a zero. All right, so we got to build us a house. Okay, so... No, I'm not meaning to do that button. Not enough space? What do you mean, not enough space? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Can't place that in midair. Okay. All right. Huh. You fix it with dirt. More white petals. So I knew grabbing those before I left was going to be important. Mason's workstation. Ah, okay. A splat of blue goo. Okay. A broken branch. That sounds like the makings of a torch, if I ever saw one. Build. Torch. Oh, it makes five of them. That's nice. So we got another broken branch. <laughs> Interesting. So they don't care about roofs. They just... Which is funny, because it's kind of the way the, um, It's kind of the way the, uh, Dragon Quest series was anyways. Oh, grassy leaves. Alright, so now we're gonna put Torch right here. I built an empty room! Seed of life. Ooh, now we're talking. So now we're going to build a bed. 
Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, no high roller. This is actually not a new haircut. This is me without a haircut. Um, hey, Kristen Senior, welcome back. Hey, Kenny, how's it going? We're doing the demo for Dragon Quest build. It's actually pretty fun so far. I, I gotta admit, I wasn't sure what to expect. But so far, I'm, I'm having a good time with it. Is Pippa living in your new house? <laughs> uh, it's not my house, actually. It's Pip. It's Pippa's house, so it's kind of like I'm living in her house, or she's living in mine. It's 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 a it's a weird arrangement. All right, so let's go over here and see how much straw we need for this, or how much. So three leaves, so we can build one of these, and we need to get three more grass pieces to build another one. We know we need the sticks for other stuff, like torches and whatnot. And to replace our actual weapon eventually, because our cypher stick eventually will break on us. And these white flowers here give us the petals that are needed for the healing, so that's good. Um, it, it's, it's, uh, more like Minecraft, but kind of like, um, like survival, uh, questy games. So we'll build a straw mattress, because we definitely need that for the quest. An open club sounds better than an actual cypress stick. And it actually has the old Dragon Quest menu system, which is really nice, I think. So it actually chews up weapons for when the other ones break, too. That was pretty cool. Alright, so... Yeah, that's... that's Ah, uh, no! We didn't want to... We didn't want to trigger the quest dialogue twice for certain. We didn't want to do it once either. Alright, so here we go. And we place down that mattress. We place down that mattress. And this is a basic bedroom now. Okay. Uh, like, don't starve together. Yeah, like, don't starve together. Uh, that would be definitely a, kind of a way to look at it. Alright, basic bedroom requires two and one. Alright, maximum resident HP by 10%. Ooh. And we can sleep to restore hit points. And it'll make it morning. Okay, that's good. Haha. <laughs> Oh, the sidekick that basically tells you that you're not as cool as you think you are. You gotta love that trope. You really do. Hey, we got some more broken branches. That's cool. Top right corner of the screen. Okay, so now they're adding more stuff to the game. So, interesting. Ah, I could be. Music 
Love the music. Alright, so do I just, yep. Just hit the berries and there you go. Alright. There's a slime. That's how we get the blue goo. I figured that was going to be it. More blue goo. Okay. That we know from previous Dragon Warrior games is not a slime. Meaning we don't want to tangle with it yet. Alright, so you look Cargo Hunter. Have a good time, man. And I hope you enjoy the demo as much as I'm enjoying it so far. I think it's first Milk Blossom Blood, but okay. Interesting. Those are definitely slimes. They got that little dopey grin on their face. There's some more berries. climb things, man, because they're there. And that is definitely the reason why we climb that. We do see the passage of time in the upper right corner. Oh, wow, there's like a tree right here, so that's stiff. Branches, some more berries. I kind of want to be able to make two mills. Uh, I guess we attack this imp and see how bad it's, it, it is for us. That wasn't that horrible. Didn't get anything good out of it either, though, so there is that. It's another tree stump, but it looks like we don't actually do anything with that tree stump. So. Oh, it's music changing because we're going into town. Okay. Gamer reflexes, guys. G music changes, you basically go on the alert because something's bad is about to happen or something horrible is about to happen. And usually it's something good, but at that time we got tricked, so we're okay with that. Looking forward to some kind of ranged weapon at some point, but you know, we're good for now. Oh, there's some toadstools. Hopefully they're not the enemy kind. Because there's some really bad toadstools in the Dragon World universe, guys. Man, I've been looking for more berries, and it just doesn't seem like they're going to be able to get enough to make two of those mills. Oh, wow, look at this. This is all kind of... Some pink petals, which would be my idea of something that would be easier to craft than something requiring white petals. Or harder, rather. It would be a better upgraded potion, most likely. Oh, here we go. We got a sign. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, we, we basically have the world of idiocracy here, guys. Um, we got the main character who has the attention span of a gnat. Uh, we have a whole entire world that don't remember that you can put like a stick in your hand to fight with. Um, I'm guessing the the mill we're about to make is just more than one berry put together and smashed. 
Though I am kind of curious about that. I mean, we're on this quest to make this food, right? And the second character basically said, well, you should be able to get enough by getting like five berries. Well, if people don't know how to make stuff, how do they know that I need five berries? Hmm. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Something flapping its wings up there. Ooh, a box. I'm okay with that. Well, I don't know who's nearby the bonfire because we just stole it, so there's that. There's the extra berries, and we are really, really pushing it more than close at this point, guys. All right. Oh, wow. So at this point, um, that is so neat. Okay. a room with a bed. Oh, I'm under attack. It's a wyvern. That's not a good thing to be under attack from these games. There we go. So what sleeping does. Because sleeping, no doubt, will do something for us. Alright. Read. The handwriting is so bad. Okay, well, that, I kind of agree with that. The spelling was atrocious. Alright, so depending upon what the actual crafting altar is, this game actually will determine what we can and can't do. So that's daytime though. We got our 12 berries. We can go complete our quest. And so far, I mean, the game, it plays the way I expect it would play. I mean, it's, it's very hand-holdy to start with, with enough open world and safety valves for, for a demo. Keep in mind, this is the demo, guys. That we could foresee, you know, getting through this without a problem. Passage to Tanajel. Oh, wow. Wow. So Tanajel Castle eventually. Nifty. So we got some more backdrop story. It's That's good. I gotta say that the, the story, I mean, this is definitely a, a good way to do like a story mode kind of Minecraft thing. I really do wish I had like a double jump ability though. Alright, so now I gotta talk to her. Hello. So we get five, we turn them on, and we get three back. Alright. 
Oh, now there's a hunger meter. Ugh, okay. So that's cool that you can actually get to the recipes here. So I need lots more broken branches. Wait, no, I only need three broken branches. Never mind, I misread that. So over here, build, chest, build. Well now, okay. I mean, just the guilt trip keeps coming on and on and on. Got a blueprint. Oh, I'm glad, Sally. All right, well, have a good day. Have a good day. All right, so we're going to go over here to recipes. Maybe. No, it's blueprints. All right. Look at the structure. So this is going to be Pippa's like workplace. So we're going to that's the town wall. So looks like the buildings butt up right up to the town wall. Not enough space. What about now? All right, so I guess it's these rocks that were doing it. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna bash this down. And we're gonna, whoops, bash this down again. Eventually we'll get this. Oh wow, okay. There we go. I don't know what the circle thing is. But we do know that these are dirt boxes. So now we just need to get some more dirt. Pretty sure it's a chest. Yep. Not sure what the circle's gonna be. Maybe that's the light source. That could be the light source. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, Drew, I'm still a bit under the weather, man. I'm 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 not a hundred percent, but I'm I'm close enough to where I felt like I could do some playing and and some gaming. You know, I feel much much better than I did before. Uh, so that's definitely a, a if you can believe that this is much much better than before, then you can realize how bad it was. Okay, so we definitely have to beat things up to down. Oh, there's another crafting section right there. Okay. Can we bash that down real quick? Because, yeah, we, we want the tree stump because it's useful for building stuff with. We definitely want more grass because the grass is important. All right. gonna make its way over here it's trying to and if any of you guys remember me playing stardew valley yesterday um you may be thinking this is kind of like stardew valley it sort of is um instead of the the day night thing being the way it is though we definitely have in, in my opinion a lot better kind of mechanics for the building aspect of it. Um, the starting is more focused on the farming. So, you know, you gotta keep that in mind. This is gonna be more focused on the building. Yep, and we know our club's about to go bashy bashy. That's why we got a cypher stick in the, uh, in the wings for it. All right, and that should. all the dirt we're gonna need for this I would think oh we can view the bl blueprint hey that's that's oh it's just the bonfire that goes here okay that's fine we, we stole somebody else's bonfire so we have no problem putting that down Draw a door, we'll build one of those. Put that there. Alright, so we're just about done. There's no there's no bed here though. And we know that's because we're sharing with Pippa right now. So Boom! Looks really bad, but hey, Stonemason's workstation. Okay, that's kind of neat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of fill all this in. Because we're OCD, we have enough pieces to fill it all in. Oh, we really need to go to bed too. And guys, I think uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue playing this game for about the next hour. And we will be playing Portal Knights tomorrow so we can do a good comparison between the two. Because I, I feel like we just scratched the surface and just not to play this, um, you know, beyond the, kind of the little tutorial and the intro storyline, we just don't do it justice or credit. So updating the the title here and that'll make it a little easier for all of us that are watching too so um shipwreck sunday is being put on hold for us to again because we wanted to do a comparison between these two games but the way the nintendo direct came out we were we were expecting 
to get some really good comparison going on. All right. Okay. So my bag is full. I really need to make a chest. And I can use her item here to make a chest. So I need to... Can I put stuff in her chest? Yes, I can. All right. That's fine and dandy, because... Alright, so... Interesting. So I can just put everything away. I don't know what to do with the blueprints afterwards. That's kind of a uh, feel bad moment. Huh. Go back to doing what we were doing. Because, you know, OCD. On the bright side, it's not like you lose materials for having to bash. Hey, Freddy! This is Dragon Quest Builders of the Switch. Welcome. We're doing... It's a demo currently on the eShop on the Nintendo Switch. Pippa's going to have another quest for us in a second. But we're definitely wanting to fill this in because it's just... It's an eyesore. And that's really what it boils down to. And we're out of Earth. Okay, well... Let's just break some of these that we don't think are right anyways. There we go. Now we got us a nice level kind of thing going. Awesome. And this was in the Nintendo Direct that came out this week as a, as a currently available demo. Okay. Other side of the mountains, the last time I saw him go and find him and get him to join us. Okay. Quest marker has appeared on the compass. We know from previous outings that over this way is a, a building we can use to, to hold up in if we need to with some minor all right cool freddy i've had some good luck with it so far it's been uh oh broken barricade okay i don't know if broken barricades will be good or if they'll be needed for like city walls or something as a uh, component so we'll, we'll definitely be bashing those down and we see that our 100 meters going down again well, not again. It's starting to go down to where I'm noticing it more than anything. So, let's just beat this guy up real quick.
first grass seed. Okay, well, I don't think I'd want to be growing grass unless I get to, like, full on take care of everything on, I guess. Alright, so up and out of here we go. Alright, take care, Freddy. Enjoy the game, man. I'm having a blast with it so far. It's it's pretty laid back and mellow. Appreciate the like there, Freddy. Quest marker. Drop the tree stump real quick. Oh. We need the mason thing to be able to build torches, apparently. Or to build clubs, rather. Okay. Well, that's that's unfortunate. So maybe he's on the other side over here by this wonderful house we completed or maybe we bugged out the demo guys I mean how, how about that I mean I could see us doing that by accident not even meaning to do it ooh here's some berries berries are always good I don't know if toadstools are edible or not. I like how they they keep the uh, day and night thing going on. Um, I can still punch things. Okay, so we're not entirely defenseless without our mighty club. Um, but we are definitely no ninja, so we, we want to make sure we don't wind up punching too much stuff. Oh, well there's the quest marker. Oh, we can only view so much bird's eye view, though. Okay. So, A, equipment. Okay. Oh, how do we... Oh, there we go. It's the... It's... It looks like it's supposed to be the right thumbstick, but it's not. It's actually the the analog key that switches up and down. Interesting. Whoa, okay. Wyvern was Chimera. Interesting. Ooh, so it's a recall feather. Okay. See, it was called the Wing of the Wyvern in the original Dragon Warrior, so why they called those Chimera, I don't know. Maybe they got into some sort of, like, copyright protection issue.
Well, this is definitely where the quest tells us to go. Don't see any dead... Whoop! That wasn't good. Wow, that wasn't good at all. Okay, so we can't swim. We are the amazing inheritor of the only ability to be able to craft things out of thin air. Meanwhile, the doggy paddle escapes us. This is good to know. It's good to know. Let's go back over here. Well, I guess we, we should probably eat the rest of our our fill. Down the tree stump. Let's make us some healing cream. A chimera wing. Oh, we have to. Okay, so the feather itself doesn't do that. Oh, okay, that's good to know. It's good to know we have to beat another one of those guys for more feathers. Okay. So maybe we just need to build a simple structure here. turn to Pippa and say, hey, we failed. We didn't figure out how to find a guy that was marked on our map. I guess we're going to have to circle the whole map. But while we're here... Um, oh wow, it's good to know that these things just don't disappear. Let's, uh, let's get some supplies real quick. Alright, see you, Tiger. Thanks for sticking out, man. Really appreciate it. Alright. I should have taken all four. Grab all those, just grab all those. Actually, tidy up. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. That works pretty good. So over here, we're gonna go boom. Actually, let's get some grass too so we can make a bed. Oh, I think uh, the door takes more than that though, also. Straw door takes lots of grass, so we'll build the straw door. You no know, earth is easy to get. Um, bonfire, blue goo, and branches. Okay, now we got the bonfire that we took away from poor dude. What did she make us? Uh, some broken branches and of course cloth. Okay. Well, you know, she, she's getting there. Oh, speaking of getting there, let's make a lot of healing cream. Lots of healing cream. Um, oh, here we go. Coarse cloth. That's why she made the coarse cloth for us. Alrighty. We were feeling kind of uh, underappreciated there. Okay. I still think we might be underappreciated. I'm 
maybe not. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, wrong button again. A. Equipment. Cool, we can put the equipment back in the chest. Well, at least we thought we could, but we can't. So, there's a separate equipment inventory. Interesting. That's good to know. In fact, we can't break it down kind of sad a little, but it is what it is. Alright, so now we're going back to this quest marker to see if we can't appease this dude by putting down his bed and getting a door and a few other things. I'm willing to bet he's up on the mountainside somewhere, maybe. Alright. So I'm thinking right here, 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 and here, and there. Oh, we never made our bed, guys. Oh. That makes making this a structure a little difficult. Huh. Me too, Lou. There's a, it's a flu epidemic that's been going around the country. Uh, from what I've been told by Alienated One when he told me that I needed to stop um, trying to be a hero and just rest. And uh, yeah, it, it kind of laid me down for the count. Digrat's sleeping it off right now. Um, we've been taking as much medication type stuff as we can. Um... Does this allow me to build a straw mattress? It does not, so I need to go back to this bed over here. Um, actually, Kenny, with this being just the demo, I do not believe it has a multiplayer on the demo itself. Um, I th think that it's highly possible and very likely that when the full game does come out, it will have multiplayer of some some degree. I, I, with it being Dragon Quest, though, um, I don't know. I really can't say for 100% sure. I, uh, so far, I like it. It reminds me like every other type of kind of game in the genre, uh, which is, you know, both a good and a bad. I, I've not seen anything other than the, the music and the, the mob skins being slimes and, you know, Chimera and whatnot. Um, uh, yeah, Lou, uh, that's kind of what I did. I, I didn't necessarily call in sick. Where I work at, I can work from home um, to avoid spreading it around. And that's what I did, is I worked from home when I had a, a fever. Um, yeah, it, it, it's definitely got a Minecraft vibe. Um, the Dragon Quest music and sound effects and locations and whatnot... Um, it, you know, it is what it is. I don't fully yet think it's a total ripoff. Hey, hi, hi, how's it going? Um, so, you know, there is that. I mean, I haven't written it off as a just a, a Me Too game. Um, that was kind of my, my big concern was it was just going to be, oh, hey, it's uh, Minecraft and Dragon Warrior Me Too. Um, so there's that. You know, it, it's definitely so far so good. I like the storyline. 
I, I kind of wish the narrator was a bit more involved at this particular point because I really have no clue and I earthly mean no clue um, why the quest isn't doing what I expect the quest should do so I'm gonna go over here and make a bed put the bed down and upon putting the, the bed down hopefully waking up in his house will cause him to go hey what are you doing in my house so she's she's not making really a whole lot at this point but she's supposed to make once a day so oh that was interesting so where I thought I had food to keep my hunger going I, I don't maybe there's some food down in this little gully again maybe they've respawned maybe the secret to the demo is that you don't get the quest to trigger for the second quest and you you die because you starve to death because none of the other foods respawning that'd be unfortunate So that didn't count it as a basic dwelling unit. It's maybe because of two things. This isn't built. I, okay, now I have a room. Alright, now I'm going to sleep on this bed. Okay, so the odd dude's nowhere here. Bird's eye view ain't giving us anything. This bed really doesn't do anything for us either. Alright. So we're just going to go explore as far this way as we can. See if we can't find the other dude. I do know we want to take out these wyverns though. Because we want their wings. not too horrible oh oh look at this guy this guy has managed to Wallow joins the party. If I uh, ever had a reason to not like this game, Escort Quest would be definitely it. Um, let's eat. Hey, Trenton, how's it going?
That's good to know. We can eat even if we're full. Oh, he actually has some combat with him. So he's not a useless typical escort quest. So there is that. And his pathing is definitely follow the leader based. Combat has its own style. And it's not full on follow the leader, so that's good. I'm definitely liking this one a little bit better. I was I was thinking it might be a little bit worse than that. Um okay. Definitely take on some wyverns for certain now. Doo, 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 doo. Definitely got that music still going. I mean, hitting the nostalgia notes like BAM is really good. We made it to town. Let's get you all the way to the banner because I'm pretty sure it's where you need to be. And here's our safe point. Boom, save. I sure did. <laughs> He's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? Oh, okay, okay. I can, I, can, I can hand it to her like that. Clever with a bushy beard. Ah! Hmm. So now we've got to get three more feathers because we know that we have to build a, a return wing. That's what he's talking about in the quest. Ooh, we haven't been exploring well, um, or we were. This is actually, I think this is the cave we first came out of, maybe? Yep, it sure is. Hey, oh, Catwater, no worries, no worries. I know you was up late last night playing some Splatoon. And uh, not feeling too well under the weather, so we totally get that. We are still not yet 100%, but we're working on getting to 100%. Oh, this is not going to be enjoyable, I can already tell. All right. Get away from me, you wyverns. No matter if the game calls you Chimera, I'm still going to call you wyverns. Oh, it's about to cast Blaze. Oh, I hope I get to get the Blaze spell eventually. I'll be a happy person having some sort of long-range resistance weapon. Square Enix, Nintendo, make it happen. Square Enix, Nintendo, whatever you want to call yourself these days. Alright, so there's the five of those we need. Let's use some magic cream to get healed back. Um, yeah, it's definitely really cute. Um, I, it's very Stardew Valley-esque in the fact it's a creation game. And I, as I'm coming around in this area, beating on these guys, it almost feels like the the caves in Stardew Valley. Um, so there is that. Uh, 
but it's got a, you know, instead of being 2D, it's 3D, so there's a whole other thing to it as far as, like, depth goes. And the storyline's pretty funny. I mean, the main character falls asleep while the actual narrator is trying to tell him what the, the main quest is. And the main character is, like, doing everything they can to get out of the tutorial zone as quickly as possible. So it's got a very made a tongue in cheek kind of thing about it. Um, it's kind of got some uh, philosophical points of views in it, which I think are okay. Um, one is that the world plunged into darkness because everybody forgot how to build stuff. So I'm okay with that. You know, it's like, oh, nobody remembered how to build anything, so the world went horrible. Um, okay, here we go. Sleep till morning. And again, when night comes, bad things happen, so you have to sleep till morning. There's no energy meter, though, unlike Stardew Valley, so that's pretty good. Alright, now I need to go over here and craft this little wing. So I craft three of them. Okay. Yeah, there was a golem who watched over Caitlyn, and that, that was Caitlyn, horrible, horrible, horrible golem. Uh, I hate that golem. Yay, more broken branches, because they're used for weapons. anything put it in a room with a chest okay make us a room to cook in make a kitchen cook fire all right so where do we want to put this kitchen at I think this is probably going to be our best bet for a kitchen. Okay, so now we need to go over here and make us a door. course we don't have all the materials for because we're... all right so now we need to put some of this stuff away but I think the, the cook fire will do that for us. It's coming, Pippa. Don't worry. 
it's coming. Make a chest, because you said we need to make one. Alright, and cook fire. Needs a bonfire, okay. Make us a bonfire. And now we can make a cook fire. Neat. We got a different little animation for when we actually made a tier two kind of item. First crude kitchen. Yay. Okay. That's good to know. And she comes to say, hey, yay. Now we can actually cook foods, which is pretty important. Shrooms on a stick and fried eggs. All right, we'll make some shrooms on a stick. Oh, wow. I managed to make three mushrooms on a stick. So it gives you one back, that's not bad. So the quest returning back what you make to a degree is pretty good. <laughs> Two blocks above the floor. Okay. Now we have a base meter. Okay, I see what's going on. So let's get us a pot so they can do things with it. Hey, Jenny Russo, how's it going? Sure that we don't have anything obstructed. Not enough materials we're out of earth. That's fine. Earth's easy to get. But we can also put we can do here we'll just put the pot there. Open the chest. Uh Make us a new chest before we do what we're about to do. We already have a chest made, so that's even better. Wow, I don't think we actually put a chest in there. I think the actual townsfolk built the chest for us. And the straw door I know we didn't put in there, so that's even better. So that's something that this particular NPC is doing, is making an actual... I haven't even read the sign. A 
Wow, how cryptic and sad. Alright, so we'll put the chest here. We'll come here, and we will take out Oh, we can. We just swap and we put it where we want it to be. Oh, even better. Even better. Take all those out. Oh, yep, I know. Lost a lot of points there. Ah. Alright. Grab the bed, grab that. Torch loses lots of points too. Your room is destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Put the bed down. Put the chest down. Put the torch back. Oh, I bet you I can make the torch float. Oh nope. It has to go on the ground. Okay. Build some basic bedroom. Yay! We got everything back up to the way it needed to be. All right, so now we got multiple storage boxes. What game are you currently streaming as the main game? Uh, Jenny, right now the main game is Majora's Mask, but that game is uh, probably not going to be streamed tomorrow morning, even though that's what Shipwreck Sunday says it probably should be, uh, because we're doing a comparison between this game and Portal Knights. We're wanting to get enough time in on this game, so we'll be able to make a proper comparison to Portal Knights, which we'll be streaming tomorrow morning at Sunday. So, hmm. It seems to be like the town wall is part of the building. I don't know if I quite care for that. Yep, 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 come on. Here we go, all right, we're almost there. So I think if we actually were just to restore one more room, we would probably be okay. So let's go over here and grab that. So we need a straw bed, which requires one more piece of grass. And now a light source, which we can build with sticks and blue goo, which we have sticks here. Take them out. And actually 
bonfires are better in my opinion. They just make more sense on the ground the way they are. That should level up our town, I would think. Boom! There we go. Leveled up town, grows level two, which is what he's been harping on for us to have anyways, is a better town. some animals. Let's see what we can do. So I kind of like this. This reminds me of like Seven Days to Die. And the fact that there's a... Oh, wow. Okay. kind of McCheese, but I'm okay with that. Interesting. A pair of blue tablet fragments. Okay. Whoa, what's this guy? Hello. A teleportal. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's cool to know. actually a, an enemy in our city now. 
I don't know what this thing is, but boy, it hits hard. Whoa, run away, run away. This is what we get for like staying up during the during the night. Oh, those beds are already taken. That bed's already taken. Okay. We don't have the materials to make a bed. Ah, okay. Hey, Jigsaw, how's it going? Okay, so we have no other cypress sticks made. Uh, this is not good. So we craft that real quick while we're here, because that's the quest. And can we make a club? Because, um, yeah, make us a club. And while we're here, make a couple more clubs. Um, you know, they're okay. It just really depends. There is this really bad, horrible one called Saw that just did not know when to go. Um, they just kept just ruining the franchise over and over again. It started really awesome when it had Carrie Ellis in it, but then it became about this really old dude. And, uh, how he's crying that he had cancer and couldn't live because he had a thing in his head and his brain and he had to get these disciples and whatnot and... I just completely lost interest in it. I mean, you know. Alright, so that kind of levels that out. Wish we could build staircase like this. You know, because that would be really nice. To be able to build staircase and it would be all kind of two-tiered city. Oh, he woke up when we finished the quest. Neat. Jigsaw, do I feel bad, man? Go ahead and play a game, dude. I just don't like the way this room is. I guess it's 1v1 room there. Well, I don't know. I mean, gosh. Hello. Would you like to play a game? Just don't sew anything inside you. <laughs> hey, Lenny, the one house is going, man. That, that'd be kind of my request, too. If you're going to play a game, make sure it's just one that everyone wants to play. One that's fun for the whole family, not just, you know, everybody that you've gotten to pick up your cause for you. Working early today. Oh, wow. That's... That's a little early, but that's because the the way the schedule broke down, right? I'm not like I'm I'm just checking it's not by choice that you're working early, it's like Well, mostly by choice at least. Well, you know, there's a difference between trolley and two trolley. And uh yeah. Just go ahead and See exactly when you get too trolly and see what happens. See, looks like we.
boy, there's just... There really needs to be a button that allows me to determine where this is about to go. Because that would have so saved a lot about that. The first placement, at least. You know, the first placement. Second placement's not too horrible. See, that's the outside town wall still, so... Oh, we can't even break that down yet. Ugh. I feel like we should be able to harvest stone, but we can't. A building planning system like Fortnite? Very similar. Uh, it's in the Dragon Quest world. Um, and they introduced the first, like, horde that attacked the city. And you get NPCs that actually do not so much tasky things, but they just do stuff. Um, like, ask questions and put you on quests. But it's very, it's Fortnite-esque would be a good way to put it, in my opinion. Alienated one. I wouldn't quite put it up there with Fortnite because it's very non-mission based, non-squad based. Um, so far it's very single player. Uh, you can tell they really didn't put any kind of actual physics in it. Um, trees just floating there. You know, not attached to anything. That kind of stuff. I feel like if we have, like, walls, though, the city will stand a lot better. I don't like the idea of, like, the city walls and the house walls being the same, so that's why we're kind of crafting up there. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it's very much like Minecraft, uh, Jenny, for the, the way it looks to, for the builds. Um, the, the questing system, yeah, it, it is kind of very much like it. Um, it has, has a lot of good lore to draw on because the Dragon Quest series has been around forever in, like, a couple years after that. So there is that. Um, it's got a neat little shtick to it because the the real cool spoiler at the very beginning of the demo is you're actually the bad guy who caused all this. So it's kind of got that Braid kind of feel to it, you know. If you've played Braid, if not, then disregard that and go play Braid because Braid's really fun. Um... It's getting close to dark again. I'm just going to level this plane here. And it's hopefully good enough to kind of rebuild it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get enough here to... Oh, well, trolls are always organized. That's why they all live under bridges. Oh, I'm about to die from hunger. It's like eat our food back. So it's kind of got like a don't starve kind of mentality because it's got this food thing. Um, it's, it's more like kind of Fortnite meets Seven Days meets Minecraft. I don't know what the, uh... 
I don't think it's actually trolls plural that are organizing, to be honest. But, you know, trolls are trolls are like uh, any other kind of actual wild animal. If you feed them, they will stay around. If you if you don't, they eventually go away and try to find something else to eat. Speaking of which, we hadn't actually banned Jigsaw, we just timed him out, but now we're going to ban him. Because that's clear that he's basically being um, hostile. I guess I should go to Bare Fist for this. Hey Dylan, how's it going man? Hey, LeChunkla's back to being Dylan. Awesome. This is going to be pretty bad, because this is a, a stronger enemy, and we're going to bare fist him at this point. And we're not a monk, so this is not good. Alright, so we can hit three times. One, two, three. Move. A lot of attack. One, two, three. Move. One, two, three. Well, that's good that you get to finally change it, Dylan. And that's a good lesson to learn, man. If, you, if you're going to grab a name, make sure it's one that you like. Make sure it's one that you like. And uh, stick with it. Because, you know, your, your name is, is, is what you build your reputation on. Yep, stick and move, stick and move. Pick and jab, pick and jab. You liked it, just missed your old name. Well, you know, that, that's cool. You know, Digret liked the, the Lachonkla name. You know, she wasn't, she wasn't against it. Probably gonna break the, it's gonna take all until daylight for us to take this out. Yeah, you know, disappointments happen. Uh, I think we're done talking about it, though, alienated one. At least in, in public. You feed them, they get stronger and bigger, and we just don't need that. We'd have to take care of it and change his diaper. We just, we don't want that. Just about done clearing this off, guys, and I think we'll have enough to make the walls around the town. Oh, we can't forget to pick up the piece that we busted out. Alright, so here we go. And this looks like it's supposed to be like the entrance to the town, so we're going to leave that there as it is. Because that looks like, you know, that really looks like it's a cobblestone kind of path. 
Over here, we can make us a couple more clubs. Should we? Uh, this is Switch, actually, um, Dylan. Uh, as far as both, I don't know. I don't know if this will be both. Uh, this was actually in the Nintendo Direct that came out as far as its availability on the demo. It'll be coming out in February. That's its official release date is February the 9th. And I'm kind of curious to see how, how it does. I mean... There's definitely, um, I wouldn't say a market, but as far as Switch games go, there is a following for games like this. I mean, there's clearly uh, Stardew Valley that has thousands of downloads and thousands of players playing it. So we know that, you know, people will absolutely want these kind of games. Oh, that's alright, Dylan. No worry, man. No worries. It's all good. I saw it and I was like, oh, that looks like fun. Um, we'll, we'll do that and see what it's like. Because my, fir my first thoughts were, that looks like exactly like what Loki and Thor have been playing. Um, they I got them a copy of Portal Knights for Christmas. And this reminds me a lot of Portal Knights. You know, I'm like I said, there's definitely some interest in it. Um, it, it it's one that... I can't help but feel uh, could do for some PR. I mean, Dragon Quest is basically always been reviewed as, or viewed, not reviewed, as like the uh, second cousin to the Final Fantasy series, especially when Square uh, went ahead and bought out Enix. And all right, so now we actually have a whole wall around the town. Go us. Except for here, I, I need to build like a town gate, but I don't think we have enough town gate. Like we have nothing that's like a town gate. They built another chest for me. That's cool. I wonder if they built any food for me. Oh, she's putting the food away right now. Oh, fried eggs. I don't know where they got the eggs at, though. Hmm. I'll definitely take that out, though. Not sure what we'll be doing with this room here. Well, we'll find some good use for it, though. And we can probably fill the rest of this up. So it's all one nice, even kind of thing going on. Are you ready for Mario Tennis? You know, Mario Tennis Aces looked, looked okay. I, uh, you know, sports games are usually not my thing, but... If they're not really sports games, but they're like combat games masquerading as sports games, which is what tennis looks like, uh, Mario Golf, Mario Soccer, uh, Mario Kart, you know, I, I'm, I'm more wrapped to it. You know, if, if I think that the, you know, the best strategy is to, of course, play the sport as intended, and the second best strategy is to simply make sure that your opponent can't play at all, 
then I uh, I like that. You know, that's one of the reasons why I enjoyed Rocket League as much as I did. I, I don't like soccer with cars, but I do like run around and blow up people that are in cars, like soccer, and that's you know that's one thing. All right, so now we're gonna use this bed to sleep. I think when we place the portal, one of the reasons why I'm kind of like. Oh, okay. Huh. Like the the. <laughs> I think I'm dreaming. Um, but it's not a dream per se. It's more like a flashback, maybe. Um, and it's actually the the kingdom's music for like the old school dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is story mode. Oh, Mario Tennis is a story mode, or just this game? Yeah, the new Wise game looks really good, too. Wise is a good series. I wish I played more of it growing up than I did. Alright, so somewhere in our... Alright, here is the portal. I think the best place to put a portal is like... Why not here, I guess? Oh, Mario Tennis in this game. Oh, neat. Giant melon, okay. Hammer hoods. So let's portal through. Oh, okay. So we're going to save, and we are going to. Know that we got to track down a hammer hood now. Okay. So it says it's the end of the, the demo. And I was thinking that the portal would be the end of the demo. But somewhere we might find a an enemy that we can beat down to get more stuff out of. But maybe not. If we, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what a hammer hood is. I'm guessing it might be the the uh, the thing that we're seeing at the. Oh, my clothes fell off. That's not good. Equipment. Put our other set of clothes. So let's eat our fried egg. Get some sticks. Because I know there's a little bit of area that we still haven't, you know, explored entirely. Yes. 
And it seems really weird that we'd be told, hey, here's a new crafting item to build before the demo ended. It seems like just a sloppy way to end the demo. That looks suspiciously like something I should be climbing up. Ooh, and that was a blaze spell. That hurt. As they should, though. Blaze spells were meant to hurt. It unlocks Stardew Valley. So one thing that, you know, we've been kind of comparing this to Stardew Valley. And the fact that they're both kind of survival crafting. Um, as you notice, the food doesn't just automatically heal you. So, oh, there's a chest up there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to build some sort of stairs to get up there. Okay. Maybe mushrooms will heal us. That was a hope that was misplaced. Okay. What about just white petals? They don't do anything by themselves. Okay. Oh wait, maybe mushroom did heal us a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it did. All right. Interesting. That's like something civilization based over here. That's a lot of death. That's not good. Okay. Build a giant mallet, he says. And we would if we could, buddy. Healing cream. Make some healing cream, because that's really needed at this moment. And we will use the healing cream. Sweet. Um, Owen, oh, I'm I'm probably 90% better. Definitely not 100%. But we're definitely feeling a lot better than we have been the last week or so. Um, okay, there we go. Now we got a crafting place where we can actually make some healing cream. That's where we're trying to get to the top of. And that's probably where we're going to call it quits once we get to the top there, because I'm, I'm pretty certain, unless it's at night that we get these hammer hood things, um, that'll be the end of what we can actually accomplish in this demo as far as any kind of progression goes. Which, you know, is not entirely frustrating. And a little bit. But yeah, music is very relaxing, yes. And if you've played any, and I do mean any, of the actual Dragon Warrior series of games, and this music is spot on from the Dragon Warrior series. Maybe we could just all natural alkaline climb this sorta. Maybe we're focusing too much on what we think we should do and not so much on what we can do.
and I am I'm very prone to doing that a lot. Time to set this down here. Can we craft a torch? We sure can. We're going to craft this torch. like a staircase the visual still looks like Wind Waker um, I could see that a little bit I mean this is actually I mean, Wind, Wind Waker wasn't the beginning of that particular style of visual graphics so I mean it kind of has that you know very light and airy kind of view All right. Music definitely knows that we're in a bad area. It's trying to tell me I should not be here. But you know, what does the music know, right? It's just created by the people who made the game. Sorry about that, guys. I was just telling Dig Rat goodbye. It's all because of this chest we saw, guys. Because this chest is while we're even struggling like we are. Alright. And, you know, watch it be something like, congratulations, it's a rock, or something, you know, equally pleasant. Alright, what do we got here? Ah, a seed of the world tree. That's not bad. I mean... Or life, rather. So that's, you know, that's some max hit points difference. Oh, and it's a gorgeous viewpoint. Um, that can't be entirely faulted. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a heck of a place to get to, guys. Alright, so let's... Speaking of heck of a place to get to, alright... So if we get on the mountain, we can definitely get to some other places. Boy, falling too far down is not good for us, though. You gotta remember that. You gonna download this? Absolutely, Catwater. I, I think it's good. You know, for a free demo. I mean, I've gotten, I've definitely gotten my free out of it. You know. 
anytime uh, I, I see anything free on the store, I, I'm like, ah, you know, maybe it'll be as good as a, a mobile game. So I, I'll shy away from it. But when a company like Square Enix puts their name behind a title, I, I'll I'll put a little bit more thought into it. What time are we ending? Um, you know, uh, basically once I feel like I've gotten to where I can't go any further is where I think I'm going to end. Oh. Go away, wyverns. Stop using your overpowered ranged attack. We saw all this. We knew we had to try to come over here. Right? Because look at all this. Oh, wow, guys. We just thought we had scratched everything that there was to scratch over here. But look at this marsh. We somehow missed the whole entire marshland. I do, Dylan, I do, man. You gotta do the laundry for everybody, man. You, you absolutely want to make sure you don't wind up spilling your cereal because having to do everybody's laundry is not a, a fun way to spend one, one Saturday afternoon for certain. Alright, if I have learned anything... So maybe these are the Hammerhood things. I don't think so, but they definitely look like something I'm not going to have a fun time fighting. They look like they want to be in this marshy stuff. Yep, that's poison water. That that's uh, hey Korok Leaf, how's it going? That's a uh, that is one of those things. That is a Dragon Quest staple. Also, is poison marsh. So we want to we want to be careful with that for certain. Maybe this guy will come close enough to, to play with us. Oh, he will. Oh, he absolutely will. Okay. And uh, all right, we can dodge, club a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Okay. It only hits for four. Um, handful of strong stocks, so there's some better materials over here, too. Oh, oh, a lot hungrier. Oh, he eats. He eats our food, um, or he makes us want to eat more. Okay. So that's his special attack. We'll stay out of that. His melee is not all that impressive. It's this part here that's horrible. Oh, he can heal too. Oh. The first tainted tree. Item bag is full. Okay. So we can actually put a tainted tree down. Interesting. Alright, so... Eat our ways back. Yep, they definitely are a stranger here. Um,
It's getting really dark out. I don't think I'm going to be able to survive the night, so I'm going to try to do... Poisonous Peat. I don't know if living in a house of poisonous peat's good for us or bad for us, but, uh... The alternative being of just getting attacked by everything that comes out at night over here. We definitely know where that winds up at, so. Bash you out, bash you out. Oh! down guys it's not good we have no cream we're in the dark our only option is to run away very quickly poison this piece sounds like a character from Carmen San Diego oh yeah oh yeah Oh, not enough spaces. What do you mean, not enough spaces? Poisonous Pete can't stack? Um, I was under the impression it could, because we've been stacking it all along. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. being as aggroed on so now we can go back and hope for the best maybe now we've got its little structure we can hide in I don't think the enemies can do any damage to the walls hey indigo fair how's it going uh, monster was in the way of your stacking space yeah that's what it's looking like um, I don't know what that... That must have been like a crit strike or something. Okay. Hey, and we survived the night, guys. as much as we would like to have our crafting material back, we'll just let it go. Hey opponents, how are you today? And all because we saw this from a high vantage point, guys. We were about to call this quits about 30 minutes ago, and we saw this area. Now <laughs> let it go, let it go. Oh, we absolutely let it go. Absolutely let it go. That's all right, go. no worries, man. Went to get cereal, walked downstairs to find outside covered in snow. That's all right, man. 
Nothing wrong with getting distracted, man. I, I have shiny squirrel syndrome. Uh, I get distracted by lots of things, and not all of them are inside my control, but not all of them are outside my control. All right. Nice little bridge we kind of made to get over here to see what all this is about. Uh, this is about getting us curious enough to come over here to our death is what this is. Okay. Good going. Good going. Alright. Oh, but that looks like... That looks like two pieces of, of peat bog put together. Oh, oh ha, dodge you, and hope for the best. Hmm. Well, this looks like a totally unfinished area of the game. I mean, it's got a couple of enemies. They definitely aggro. They have their own attacks. So the enemies are finished. It's got its own little kind of like POI. So there's nothing wrong with that. We definitely had to do some, some interesting building to get to where we were at. We've gathered some materials from these dudes. I'm almost of the opinion that, like, these trees that these guys drop are kind of what we need for the mallet, maybe. Yes, Owen, we will be streaming tomorrow morning, but we will not be streaming the Skyfall stream. We're going to be streaming Portal Knights to kind of give a comparison between this and that other game. is hunger AOE which we want to stay out of as far as melee goes we're okay and he's about to cast a heal spell we'll definitely knock him out of that hmm and how the main reason Haku for that is because we're not a hundred percent sure that we'll be streaming tomorrow. We, we don't want to promise one thing and then have to turn around and say, no, it was all a lie. I'm still sick. Sorry, guys. Because I'm not 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling a little down. But I'm feeling much better than I was yesterday. Much, much better than I was yesterday. So all in all, this little area that we were able to see from the giant little nest that we found with the, the chest, kind of neat. I mean, it, it definitely makes you want to explore when you see stuff like that. So, you know, points of interest in this game are doing what points of interest are supposed to do. Dickrat's doing all right. Um, she is... Um, much like myself, she has not been feeling really good. Um, hopefully she'll fill up the streaming tomorrow night. We don't know, though, at this point. Her, uh, she has definitely been a little bit sicker than I. She's been sicker than lo longer than I as well. Uh, yeah, the pottery's kind of neat. The fact you can build it and it actually helps your, your, your town points is really good, too. Alright, so now we're about to use one of the game's items, because we've explored our way... Oh! Whoa, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, 
Turtle Club. Oh, Turtle Club. That is a dragon. And they are, they truly are allowed to sleep wherever they want. I mean. Okay, this guy we know we can take on in one-on-one -on -one combat without many problems. We just don't want to wake up the dragon. So we'll just stay here. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. The dragon wants a hug. Well, the dragon's not going to like what I get to hug him with. Um, but that's the reason why he's a dragon. I'm the hero. Well, I'm not the hero. Uh, I like the plot twist on this that you're actually the villain. So that, that's yeah. We are we are to slay the beast once it's daylight out. Maybe. We definitely don't know if we can save our game. Uh, I wish our wyvern wing could be used somewhere else. Just waiting out until the end of the world for this, guys. That's all we're doing. Yep, at the very beginning of the game, they lay out that you are not the hero in this world. You are the bad guy. Or at least you were going to be the co-bad guy. Like, the big, big, nasty villain gave you the opportunity. Disturbing the peace? Uh, a bit more than disturbing the peace. It was more like uh, deciding to disturb the, the horrible, horrible... Um, just overall nastiness of everything. We're going to go with the full club because we, uh, we'll bust this open with this one. And the turtle club, I fully expect that this uh, dragon is going to be the last thing we ever do in this game today. All right, dragon. Can I talk to you? No. So we got him in the head, I guess. So let him breathe his fire, smack him in the head. Oh wow, just getting close to him does damage to us. That's great. So maybe we hit his tail? Nope, we have to hit his leg, okay. All right, one hit point at a time, guys. That's the way we're going to do it. Oh. 
slime's doing damage to us. Okay. Oh, 26 damage. All right, so he's got a lot of hit points. He gets to sleep wherever he wants. He doesn't move, though. Up and there's dead. Okay. So where did we die at? Wait a second, why do we, we want to grab our stuff? I mean, we just respond with all of our stuff. That's kind of very handholdy. Okay, well, huh. I definitely agree with you there, Haku. Um, I just don't think I have enough time to kill a dragon. We won't let that stop us, though. X. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so... Wish there was a way to make some better weapons and armor, though. Maybe leveling up the base would actually do that. Hmm. Not sure on that. So, we just put some doors on everything, we'll be okay to start with. Actually, we want to go into the chest first. No doors built, so doors, let's draw a door, X, there we go. So let's bash this down.
So we need 5,000 points to make the next level. I, I don't even know if we can get to 5,000 points. Realistically, within my attention span of time. thought we needed one, we actually needed two pieces, so we'll get the second piece. Alright, we'll take care of opponents. Thanks for joining us for the chat, really appreciate it. And guys, so far we are, we're, we're definitely digging the demo. Um, we, we know this is probably going to be like a $60 title when it comes out and that you know that's kind of the a travesty in my opinion because this this feels more like a 20 to 30 dollar title but you know it's got the square enix name it is dragon quest now there are a lot of things that make a title a title oh you're waiting till the end okay well the end probably is about to be here. I mean, at this point, guys, it's it feels like what we got to do at the moment is level up to be able to make better items and better armor to be able to take on the dragon. Um, some sort of ranged weapon would do really, really well, and I don't foresee us getting that in this particular game at the moment, um, or dare I say it all, to be honest. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of games out there that deserve your money. This is this is not an undeserving game. Let me let me make sure that we call that the way we need to call that because this is definitely a game that's good. Yeah, it, it's hard to know. It's it is hard to know. And we can make a couple of these. Maybe we got some more food. We'll take out the food. Oh, we can't take out the food. Alright, that's fine. We can put the bed here that we made. We put the bed here that we made. Along with this little bonfire. Now this is a room also. Yeah, it's gonna take a whole lot of everything to make this room the way we want. Okay. Let's do this. Let's Hyrule Warriors is coming out for Switch. Hyrule Warriors Complete, actually, is the name of the game that they gave it, I believe. So it's going to have, like, all the downloads and everything on it. Kind of like uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe would be my guess.
Definitive, that's what it is, okay. So, that's a pretty big pointed room, I mean... Hmm. We need so much more. We just got this picture. Well, hey, GGP, how's it going, man? Uh, guys, I think at this point we're probably going to call it quits. I mean, it, it definitely has a lot of promise. Um, I, like any other demo game, right? Demo always leads to fun, great excitement, happiness. Adventure, all those things that a Jedi should not crave. And then all of a sudden they go, you know what? Let's just go and pull this away. And that's what's happened. So we, we know we got, you know, the attack phase. We know we have some sort of like monster swarm thing that's built into it. Uh, we'll have to eventually, you know, equip the city to be better defended than what it is. We got some crafting materials that we don't know what we can do with them. Um, yeah, uh, Hoenn, that, that's, you know, that, that is what it is. Uh, and tomorrow night, tomorrow morning, we'll be doing Portal Night starting at 8 a.m. as well. Um, still feel like we should be able to break these down for stone, but we can't. Um, the quest tells us we need to build a giant hammer, so I'm of the opinion that that's where the next little kind of thing is. But it really feels... And, I'm, and I really mean this. It's a feel-bad moment in the demo to give you an idea of what you're about to experience and then take it away. We do know there's a dragon that we can defeat. Um, we can do one hit point per hit. We never saw his health bar go down. Uh, he may have regeneration abilities even, for all we know. Um, he hurts really hard. I think we've pretty much explored everything that there is to explore in the game. So I don't think that there's anything in the demo to help us out other than just a long, drawn-out, grindy battle with the dragon. Which, you know, killing it will be cool. Don't get me wrong. And it's something I'll probably do off-stream. But it's probably going to be like, you know, 40 minutes, 50 minutes to kill this thing. Uh, the mushrooms are not used for anything other than decoration. And I mean, that's what they do. They probably give points for putting them where they get put. So that's, you know, that's not a bad thing. Um, oh, hello, what's this? Probably something else to reconstruct would be my guess. Because I bet we can't bash any of this down. Nope, nope. This is probably where the portals lead to on other places. They probably lead to a similar thing. So yeah, guys. At this point, I think we've pretty much uh, we've pretty much discovered everything there is to discover. Um, one thing that I do hope that happens when this game releases on the ninth, I hope they do what some other games have done, and at least give us credit for playing through the demo the way we have. Uh, I would like, you know, a A ability to carry over some of our progress. I'd hate to have to redo all this. Uh, but, you know, if we do, we do. And that's just the nature of these kind of demo games, right? But, yeah, guys, I think that's uh, this is pretty much where we call it quits today. We've, we found pretty much everything I can think of that we could find on this little island that we have. And it's, it's more than an island. But we're also going to go ahead and use a Camaro Wing. Because we hadn't used one yet. That's a neat little... That's a neat little deal. 
Okay. All right. Well, guys, this is Max Synchro saying I had a, a, a great time with you guys. I'm absolutely working on being on the mend, as is Digrat. I'm going to go to bed. Um, but, you guys, you guys have a good morning, good evening, good night. Whatever you guys have, just make sure it's good. This is Max Synchro saying take care, everyone.